everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily card reading for October 30th, 2021. It's October 30th. We're getting so close to Halloween. Here we go. All right. There's... I. Don't judge me. It's Page of Michael. Truth, perspective, analytical, blunt. If that means something to you, go ahead and take it. I feel like I kind of forced that out. I will read it. This is not the message for everybody, okay? An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents thoroughly. So that's for some of you out there. But again, I felt like I kind of forced it out of the deck. So let me put it back in. If it comes out again, then it's spooky in here, okay? <laughs> there. That's what we're talking about, that. Oh, <laughs> this is worse. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please subscribe. I love you. Please su subscribe. <laughs> Good Lord. Three of Michael, release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. This is such a time of letting go. So this might be if you've hung on to a potential love partner. Maybe you've hung on to them for a very long time. Maybe you did have a karmic connection with them and you really wanted them to be the one you really wanted to believe that they were going to you know be your partner but then you have this realization of they can't love you they don't have the capacity right maybe they are too self-centered maybe they are too machiavellian you know whatever maybe they you know you're realizing some really hard truth about someone or a situation or maybe you thought you always had a safety net like i could always go home but then your parents said no move out <laughs> or you thought i could always go back to that place because i have contacts there if ever i need uh work and they say who are you right it has this kind of feel about it it is rejection a little bit not for everybody i think some some of the heartbreak comes from I knew that was true. I just didn't want to face it. Okay. Now that might scare some of you. You're like, oh my God. You know, I've been paranoid about blah, blah, blah. I was paranoid about losing my job or paranoid about a relationship or what have you. It could be situations in your life, but I feel like it's more about realizations. And it's sad, but it's it doesn't have to be shocking. Right? It's like... It really does have that feel of like, I knew he was no good for me. I knew he didn't really have good intentions or I knew that place wasn't going to promote me. I knew they were never, they were just toying with me. They were just filling in the blanks for themselves, you know, or I knew that I wasn't going to get that house. Now, here's the thing. What this sounds like is manifesting negativity. <laughs> That's not exactly what I'm talking about. You're not putting that level of energy into it. What I'm saying here is that when something occurs or you have a revelation, it frees you. It gives you a chance to say, well, that wasn't the house for me. Or you know what? Why was I trying to step backwards when I should be stepping forward? You know, why, why did I hold up on that one person when I was never really happy with them anyway, I never felt comfortable around them. Something in me said no, right? Until at least they did some growing. But how many people are really going to take that initiative and do that, especially if they're a cluster B type? Yeah, they think they're already perfect. They're not going to do anything, right? So it has that kind of feel of like that's a disappointment and I'm heartbroken about that. Or maybe just heartbroken about all the stuff going on in the world. Every time you obviously read the news, there's heartbreak there, right? Maybe it's something like that, but there's also acceptance behind it. Not, I accept that nothing needs to change out in the world. Everything's good. Okay, I accept bad things happen. It's not that. If it's an outward, out in the world kind of thing, there's some revelation and realization that we need to step up and take this, this, and this more seriously. If it's in your life, you might say, I can accept that this relationship is not going to work out. I can accept that I'm not taken seriously here or that I just don't fit in here in this group or whatever. Okay. And therefore I now I've put that to rest and, uh, I can move on. I'm thinking of the example. I remember there was a whole like, um, big change that was happening at my company. Um, the direction my career was going to go, it suddenly, just stopped. I mean, it was like, I was like, Dude, you ever see that uh, Friends episode where Rachel's supposed to get a promotion, then her boss gets hit by a cab? I lit, not with the cab, thank God. <laughs> no, we didn't want that. But like, literally, I was like right there and then something happened and it was done. It was over. I couldn't go that direction. So I remember in my, I went right past like 
anger, resentment, bitterness, fear, panic. I went zooming past all that and I got focused. And I said, I'm going to go get my answers. And I went to somebody and I sat with them. And I said, I, you tell me right now, do I have a future in this company as anything other than an executive assistant? Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just find it super stressful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like some people it's just like real natural for them. Uh, no, my, my natural tendency is to be big ideas, not, not details. So it's hard. It was hard, but I did it. Um, and you know, something other than that. And in this case, it was no, you know, it's, it's all hands on deck right now. Race stays where they are because there's this huge change going on. And, you know, later on I was like, oh my God, I can't, I kept, it's a long story, but I kept holding out hope that something would come of that situation in a career sense where I could, you know, finally move on to something that maybe I felt better suited for. And, uh, you know, but I couldn't get to that place of letting go and getting on with it, right? Getting past that situation without going and getting some clarity. Um, it wasn't the answer I wanted to hear, but at least now I know. It's that kind of thing, okay? So just be aware of that. Be ready for it. Again, it doesn't have to be awful, awful. There might be some letdown today. Whatever it is, you, you got your answer. So whatever you've been trying to manifest, whatever you're trying to bring into your existence, what you ask for is happening. But it may not look the way that you want. I know everyone hates that. Tough. <laughs> the universe knows how you need things, right? And it may not be in the timing that you think. And more than anything, when we ask for something, everything else starts to clear out of our lives. And then we're like, well, what the heck was that? That thing just got ripped away from me. Man, I'm trying to manifest good stuff. And this got ripped away from me. You're making room. You know that. I don't need to tell you that, right? <laughs> so just don't forget that. That was more of a friendly reminder than anything. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.